Now, your two works for you weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. We're tracking rain early this morning on our camera network and on dual Doppler radar Viper 4D. Wet conditions right now along Highway 169. This from the Renaissance Hotel, part of Dave's Claremore RV weather camera network and wet conditions looking south from the BOK Tower. This also part of Dave's Claremore RV weather camera network on dual Doppler radar Viper 4D. We do have rain showers this morning stretching from southeast Kansas all the way through eastern Oklahoma. This is probably the last big band of rain to move through and then drier conditions coming up for later this morning and especially for this afternoon. You can see around Sepulpa off towards the south we do have moderate to heavy rain and some of that rain is starting to pick up in intensity especially to the east of Tulsa. You can see around Broken Arrow, the BA Expressway, around Lynn Lane and 44 and up towards Catoosa at this time. Now in terms of those temperatures, lowering those temperatures today into the 40s after reaching 75 degrees yesterday afternoon, shattering the old record of 74 set back in 1996 here in Tulsa. And then on Sunday into the mid 30s with a good chance of snow up to 80% now for Sunday morning with that snow moving on through the area and then temperatures rebounding into the upper 40s to right around 50 degrees for later in the week. 56 degrees is your current temperature heightened on the relative humidity with that rain now up to 80% still anticipating a wind shift to come through this morning to out of the west between about 10 and 15 as that cold front punches on through the area. Timing things out on future track radar and the cloud cover decreasing rain on the way for later this morning, especially for this afternoon, mainly cloudy skies and then an opportunity of some isolated thunderstorms moving through and some could be strong to potentially severe. You can see later this afternoon, this is after four o'clock to the southeast of the Tulsa area. Then that moves out by early this evening. Dry conditions on the way tonight and tomorrow to kick off the weekend from the storm prediction center. We do have a marginal risk of some strong to potentially severe storms southeast Oklahoma. Again, that's for later today as we saw in future track radar. Then our secondary system comes in. Look at this cold system and snow spreading in light accumulations possible by Sunday morning across our area. Models coming into agreement again that chance now up to 80% on Sunday dropping those temperatures today. This is just the beginning of changes to come over the next couple of days. Westerly winds between again 10 and 15. Over the next seven days, those changes, including that light snow by Sunday morning, only 35 degrees, temperatures into the 40s next week in a mixture of clouds and sun.